Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 88 of Europa Universalis for As Spain. In the last video we finished our latest war against France, took a couple more provinces from them in the mainland. At the same time we took absolutely everything that was owned by France in Alaska, Canada and the USA. So now literally the whole of the New World belongs to us, which is fantastic. Uh, we're probably not really going to be able to do too much in terms of future wars. We can't declare war against France again unless we want to break the truce, uh, simply because we are already... Um, the, the, the truce doesn't expire until September 1821, which is after the end of the game, so there's nothing that we can really do about that one. Um, I did have some troops over here that I was going to move, and I, I put the ships in place and then actually forgot to do anything with them. Um... That was you guys. It looks like it's all taken care of, actually. So I don't even need to do that. So you guys with the transports can probably stay over here. We can invest in a new idea. Grand Army. Do we want tech? Yeah, we want to save up for the tech. We're going to be behind on admin tech, but there's not much we can do about that right now. So our biggest problems at the moment, first of all, we don't have any nobility. The clergy demand control of some provinces, which we can certainly give them. Uh, but we don't have any uh, any nobility at all, which would be helping our manpower if we did. So maybe we should think about doing that. Um, let's go and deal with this first. Now, rebellions are going to be a problem. Uh, and this is caused by the fact that we are massively overextended. Um, let's go ahead and... You see, we've got these three rebellions all popped at once. Let's go ahead and take you guys out first. And then we'll sort of come over here if we have to. So let's just go back to dealing with those... Um, estates so let's go in and look at the clergy and what could we give to the clergy how much do you want that's enough for you is it right so what if we wanted to go ahead and give some of this stuff to the nobility now we can't even give anything to the nobility at all i wonder if that went away because i changed the government type because we did change government type to the, uh, what was it? Change government type. We're a constitutional monarchy. Doesn't say that you can't have um, nobility, but okay, maybe that's what it was. I'm not too sure. Never, never lost the nobility before. Now these guys have got a lot of, a lot of mercenary. Well, they're not got a lot of mercenaries in, but they do have some mercenaries in. You guys should be able to take them without my help. The 14 stack, you will need my help for. That one I appreciate. So, let's go ahead and get you guys on the boats. Let's go ahead and get you to... L Can we get you to land? No. Let's get you over there. They've already taken it, haven't they? Yeah. So, let's get you over there as quick as possible. You guys drop off on there. And then we've got another one over here. You, you've got more than enough guys around to deal with that one. You don't need my help for it. So let's go ahead and keep the coring going wherever we can. We're, we are very, very overextended still. 124%. I assume you're coming over there to deal with that. I'd hope so. France have got a few black flag troops around. It's surprising that this still doesn't change to yellow. It should do. It's just because it's, there isn't 50% of the uh, adjacent provinces owned by one colonial nation. Uh, so this is until, um, again, well beyond the end of the game. We're not too bothered about tolerance of heathens, are we? Oh, we just want no, just get everywhere lose liberty desire. That's fine. Everyone just lose liberty desire. Whatever. Not bothered at this point. Right, let's go ahead and get the military tech. Doesn't give us any new unit types. And another rebellion all the way down here. Let's go ahead and get a leader. We'll put you in charge because you've got a little bit more manoeuvre. You'll get there more quickly. Have we fully reinforced yet? Looks like we have. Um, doesn't look like we can do any more conversions right now. Coring. Again, we can do these ones. They don't give us any, any overextension, though. So we will save up. We just got another hostile siege here that I missed. That one's now done. So let's go and give you... Uh, let's give you this leader. March you over there. 
And let's go and look back over towards the Antilles. How are things going? Let's get you docked up. So we have managed to take that one. That's fine. But Gone is done. They've taken control of Garb, but we're about to beat them up. So let's go and work on that. Yep, we've defeated them. We need 188 and 117. We're only slightly overextended right now. And we've got an 8% one that's about to finish. So we're about to drop below the 100% overextension mark, which would be really nice. And then we could go ahead and attack somebody else if we wanted to. We could still attack Burgundy. They're a very real possibility. But again, how, how much overextension do I want? We are still working on a few culture conversions as well. They're very slow, but they are being done. In fact, some of these aren't even going to be done until the end of the game. Yeah, these culture conversions aren't even going to be completed until the end of the game. So they may as well all stop and we get everything refunded. There's no point doing it because they're not going to be done in time. So we'll stop all of those. Lost a general. And we've got Pacifico Norte. Excellent. So that takes another load of cores off our hands. Now we are um, no longer overextended. So the question becomes, do we want to start another war? Well, the answer to that question, of course, is usually yes. So let's go and have a look over here. Mr. Burgundy, how are things with you today? You have no allies, sir. Um, you've been warned by Austria. You're guaranteeing the independence of Trier. You're guaranteed by Savoy in the Netherlands. Okay, the Netherlands I don't give two hoots about. We can beat the Netherlands up nice and easy. The Netherlands don't have all that much going for them over here. They do have some ships, though, which is potentially problematic. Um, Savoy is a potential problem. But we could take more stuff from Savoy. I did think they broke it. Mean, what, what would happen if we did declare war on them? The Palatinate wouldn't come in. Netherlands and Savoy would. And we could get the Commonwealth to come along and help. How many troops does Savoy have? I'm, I'm starting to, to really consider this now. Um, armies. Savoy, what do you have? Um, you have 74,000 men. That's not a lot. Lose some ducats for some prestige. Someone gets the... Well, we, either way, we get a, three, a free ship. Um, let's start moving some of these guys into position for Savoy. Uh, we don't have a debate. Ah, there we go. So, what do we want here? Army tradition decay. Root max stability. Land maintenance modifier. Trade efficiency. There's not a lot of options here. Global tariffs would be really good for us, so let's just go for that one. And we could spend some things here... Lose some army tradition. Some autonomy in one province is nice. Lose some money is fine. Lose some navy tradition is fine. So we'll have a good chance to win that one. So let's go ahead and start moving some of these troops down. Let's get the heavies. Is that our extra three-decker? It is. Let's get you up here. Are you guys all fully upgraded? Looks like you are. So we'll go over here with the heavies. We should be able to use them against the Netherlands. I don't think the Netherlands are going to be that big a problem, to be honest. Savoy will be the biggest issue. And they do have a few stacks down here. We could really do with a couple more leaders now. We've actually lost lost a few of them. Um, let's go ahead and give you... Which one did I just assign? Not that one. Right. Um... And you could probably do with the other one. And then we still need another leader somewhere as well. Can we afford another? No, we've only got 41 points, so we'll have to wait there. Let's group you up and get you over here. Don't need to be taxing anyone. We'll wait for that call. We'll wait till we've got the 189. We do want to take the... Other trade fleet, which are sat there already and not actually trading. That's why we're losing trade money. I've got a fleet just sat there doing nothing. Okay, so do we want to start this war now? Probably. We want to declare the war on Burgundy. 
So let's just go ahead and declare that. Um, take the capital Barah. We will call in the Commonwealth. Platinate still won't come in. So let's go ahead and do that. You guys march straight in there on top of their army. That's the most sensible thing to do. Your army is trying to move down here. So I intend to try and jump in on that army if I can. Now they're not too sure how many oh, how many men you've got around. But I'm going to jump in and start grabbing some of these forts. Let's go and sit in there and take that from you. Let's bring the rest of the men forward so that we can defend should we need to. Um, was that that battle down here? Have we won that already? No, that was that one. So we're still working on this battle. So that battle should win nice and quickly. These are all stat wipes, which is very nice. Um, let's go ahead and... Actually, you just go and sit up there then. I don't know where the rest of their troops are, but we have just wiped out a big stack of them. Right, they've got a 30k stack up there, which is a little worrying. Um, we'll just have to keep our eye on them and see where they go. 52 stack here. You probably want to go and deal with the Netherlands, to be honest. So let's go ahead and get you a new leader. You're quite good. You get over there and deal with that. You guys get down here and, and try and fend these off. You step over here in the adjacent province in case you're needed. You guys come over here and start sieging this stuff out. So what I want to do is to see if these guys try and come over here and, and attack this army. We just we, It's that 30 stack. We, yeah, there we go. It's that 30 stack we need to keep our eye on. So let's move you over here and see where he's thinking about going. He's actually moving into Austria, which is quite interesting. Um, oh, they're probably going to try and take Venice right now, which is fine. Let's go ahead and sit here and take this fort then. We've already got this, so let's start moving you through. Um, are we going to win that battle? It's looking like it could go either way. No, we did win. So let's move you over here. Let's keep moving you around and trying to take as much of this as possible. In the meantime, we do want to be coring and converting wherever we can. My voice is really not helping me out today. Now, they do have like a 40 stack around there, so we do have to be careful. See, there's a 30 stack. There's another big stack over there. There's a 20 stack as well. Right. You guys move over there. Now, let's make sure we've got another big stack over here that can reinforce at a moment's notice. You guys can move in and grab this fort. Well, it's not a fort, but you can move in and get, get that uh, thing done there. Um, Commonwealth are actually moving in from the rear here as well. So these guys are in real trouble. Commonwealth are actually getting stuff done. Are you guys going to try and move in to attack? No, it looks like you're all trying to back off, but the Commonwealth's going to cut you off with the look of things. We've won the Siege of Burrah, which is great. So let's go and move up here. Now, can we march through Ghent? Which leader do you have? You have... Um, who do you have? George. So let's put you in charge there. And can you get here? You cannot. Ghent. Um, will you give me military access? Yes, you will. Thank you. And as a result of that, we can then... I'm going to pause because it's not letting me click on anything. We're just going to march through and sit in the Netherlands and move our ships back up over here. Excellent work. So you've got some ships down there. Not too bothered about that. You guys can probably move in and grab some of these provinces. You're not really going to have enough men to take anything. And we could go ahead and try and get their capital. I'd like to have some more men around to make this easier to do. Actually, the Netherlands are up here. The Netherlands army is up attacking the Commonwealth. So that makes it easier for us to take stuff from the Netherlands. So that's fine. Um, yeah, they're going to get destroyed over there. We've taken this. So you can back out for now. There's no point sitting there looting. You go and sit in that province there. You probably don't have enough men to siege. Actually, you do for some reason. Peace offer from Burgundy already. 
Okay, we've managed to take this. Let's move you down into... Is it safe to move into Vo? Possibly. Are you going to try and move into me and attack? I don't think you will. Let's move you down into Savoy. So we've got some backup. Let's move in and take Archer and we'll get that done out of the way. Uh, we don't need to give military access to Brandenburg. Uh, we did win a battle down here. It must have been just a random little unit that you've actually moved in on us. Which was unexpected. Can you get into Savoy? Yes, you can. We don't have a leader here, though. Um, I don't have an unassigned leader that isn't busy either. Can we assign one? So let's go ahead and march you in here. They are throwing some extra troops in, but now that we've thrown ours in, that should be enough to carry it for us. Excellent. Uh, let's just leave you guys there all together for now. So we do have a wall breach here. You guys are all kind of splitting off all over the place. You're trying to unseed. You're trying to siege something there, which we're not going to allow. And um, I might just follow you guys down because it looks like you're going to stop there, and we can probably kill you quite easy. Did we get a stack wipe? We did not get a stack wipe. Uh, siege of Savoy is over. That was actually quite quick. So, let's get you guys up into these provinces. Um, we're still sieging out Burgundy itself. I don't really want to take anything from the Netherlands. I'd quite happily just separate piece them out for nothing. Be nice if we could take some more stuff from... Oh, we've got something going on over here. Oh, you were going to attack me with a little tiny stat that meant nothing. Uh, hostile siege I've just seen somewhere. That's the hostile siege, is it? Um, let's go ahead and just split you up, because we can just move into there and attack you and move back. Sure, I just got a warning about a rebellion, but it was probably a um, in one of the colonial nations. So, how are we doing over here? We still haven't got any of the stuff that we need yet. You guys are moving around some little stacks that aren't really an issue. I mean, we could pay for some wall breaches. We're out of manpower again, which is going to be a problem. Right, you guys get out of there because you're just taking attrition. Let's get some guys down here just so we can block some stuff off. We've won the Siege of Ashen. So let's go in there and grab you. So we'll, we'll soon have a 100% war score against um, Burgundy. That's not a problem. There's some Savoyese troops there, or whatever they would be classed as. We'll wait until you get the siege, and then we'll move in and attack these guys. Now, the Dutch army may come in and try and reinforce. I think they're going to. They actually didn't get a chance to, which is excellent for us, because that means we can now march in and attack the Dutch army. Excellent. Losing a lot of manpower. Come on, tell me we're going to get the rock. I was going to say, tell me we're going to win that one, please. So, let's march in and sit in some Dutch provinces. Got a big stack over here. Let's just go and... Can we not get into any of these other provinces? I guess it's because of zone of control, isn't it, really? Okay, not a problem. How are things going down here? Got the Siege of Vaux. You guys can move in and deal with that. Now, can we just piece the Netherlands out? Will you be willing to get out of this war? No. That's a shame. We'll just have to siege your stuff out then. I, I, was off, I was offering to let you out of the war without taking anything from you, but you didn't want to. So that's a shame. Right, you guys have got that. Let's go ahead and split you up. So again, we're not taking a ton of attrition. You're black flagged, which is interesting, while you're going all the way around there. Because it's not like you can really do anything. 35% chance we're going to grab a fort from the Dutch real soon. 
And you're moving down here, are you? Well, this this isn't really going anywhere, so let's just do a consolidate and let's just move in and attack this army. There we go. The Dutch have lost another stack. Um, we'll grant a seat, sure. You guys move over there and take out that, that um, Savoy stack. All this is keeping their armies occupied while we're winning this siege over here. Excellent. How are things going over on this side of the world? Well, we're making some progress, albeit not a lot. Let's get you into Milan, because it does have a fort there. So it's mainly... but Do I want to take Burgundy? I think I want to take most of this stuff, if possible. I'm not even bothered about taking this from Burgundy. Savoy, of course, are... Uh, right, the, the, the Dutch want a piece out. Oddly enough. So, what do you want here? Just, um... White piece, I assume. Netherlands will be forced to concede Alaska to Spain. What? I'm confused here. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, is it the this province here? Yeah, sure. So you'd be giving you'd be giving me that. Yeah, just straight up give it me, and they would. Um, any other Dutch territories we could take? We could take Hawaii. We don't really want it. They won't give it to us anyway. We'll do that. We'll take war reps. Take the war reps, and now we've got... I'd forgotten that we hadn't got that little bit of Alaska, but that's fine. Um, before we do anything else, let's pull you guys out of here. Um, do we have... Uh, over, well, of course we have overextension. That's all we ever have. Um, none of this is giving us overextension, so I'm not going to spend on it right now. They'll have high autonomy, but that is fine. We've got a peace offer from Burgundy, because Burgundy are 100% sieged. Do we want to try and take anything from Savoy? We could only take those three provinces. Um, we're getting into a lot of aggressive expansion now. That would give us 45% overextension, which we could handle. Um, but we don't have the war score to take it, so we'll have to wait on that. Or do we not take that and just take this down here in Italy? don't actually know. We can't take as much as we'd like because um, they're not a co-belligerent. Let's get you guys moved down into there so you've got enough men to siege. You guys don't have enough men to siege now either. This is the problem when you start to run out of, uh, of manpower. We can grab this province on the way and then move in and grab that. So we probably do want to get this war over as quickly as possible. The Commonwealth are winning some wars over here. Probably going to take Venice back for us at this point. So try and take back what we can. You're moving an 83 stack in over there. So probably get that sieged out. So these are all things that we are sieging. You can go and move into there. Oh, is that another province there? We can't get there, but move into there, though. Let's go and get all of these grabbed. But I think we're going to end the video here. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 of Spain. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.